Hello everyone, this is Jesse Phillips with Waypoint Technology Group. Just here to give you guys another tech tip this week. Uh, this one's going to be about um, TSC5 Android updates, how to update Android on your controller. And um, if you do have difficulty in updating Android, um, how to do a factory reset if necessary. So what we're going to cover today, how to update the Android operating system on a TSC5, or this would also be very similar on a TDC6 data collector. Secondly, if, if the updates repeatedly fail, which happens occasionally, how to perform a factory reset and to kind of force those updates through. So, and doing that, if a factory reset is necessary, how to back up and restore your Trimble Access projects and settings uh, so you don't lose everything when doing a factory reset. As far as what you'll need, you'll need a TSC5 uh, or TDC6 data collector with an Android operating system. You'll need an internet connection and a PC or laptop to back up your data to if a factory reset is necessary. So let's start out on um, a TSC5 screen here. So first and foremost, um, as far as how to do just uh, updates to the Android operating system, um, I'm sure you have an internet connection. Um, ideally you want to do it over a Wi-Fi connection, but if you have to, um, over a SIM connection would work as well. So from the main um, home screen, you'll want to swipe up from the bottom and scroll down to settings and you can just type in the search bar system update that should make it a little easier to find and one of the first hits should be system update system so if you click on that and go down to system update this is where you'd manually go and check for an update you can hit check for update um, this data collector is already up to date. You see there's a security update as of December 5th, 2024, and it just successfully checked at 9.22 a.m. Um, if it does find an update to do, um, it'll download that update, um, which may take, you know, five to ten minutes. When it's uh, complete, you'll, it'll prompt you to restart your data collector, so you'll want to do that to make sure the update takes effect. So that's how to simply check for and do Android operating system updates. Definitely worth checking every couple months to see if there's um, something to update. Um, occasionally, um, if you haven't updated in a long time especially, these newer updates may fail, so you may need to do a factory reset on your device. So if a factory reset is necessary, one thing you're going to want to first do is ensure um, Trimble Access is as up to date as possible before you wipe the device. So if you go to Trimble Access, and if you go to the menu button in the top left, and go to About, you can see what version of Trimble Access you're running. So as of February 5th, 2025, the most recent version available is 2024.11. To double check you're up to date, or if you're on an older version, um, and to make sure, or to bring Access up to date, you'd want to use the Trimble Installation Manager. That's how you'd make sure access is up to date as possible. The reason you want to make sure Trimble Access is as up to date as possible is because you're going to wipe the device of everything including Trimble Access. So when you reinstall Trimble Access and restore that and restore your data, you want to make sure the versions match. So to back up all of your Trimble data once you're sure Trimble Access is as up to date as possible, you're running the most recent version that you're authorized to run. You're going to want to connect your TSC5 or TDC6 to a laptop using a USB-C cable. So if I do that, it may ask you something like this, what's your USB preference? So you'll choose file transfer. And once I minimize that, if I go to my file explorer, I should have a, if I scroll down, I should have a TSC5 now visible and I can access that as shared storage. So you're gonna wanna take this whole Trimble data folder, um, especially if you want all of your projects and settings backed up and just restored once you wipe everything. You're going to take this Trimble data folder and copy and paste that to your local computer or laptop and save so we can restore later. Uh, once you've backed that up, I can disconnect the USB-C cable. Um, the next thing you'd want to ensure, just probably a good habit, is to make sure you're signed out of all of your accounts on the device. And this would be important in case maybe somebody else has been using this device or if you have to do a factory reset on a device and it was somebody who left the company. They may be logged into accounts like Google. And even if you do a factory reset, it will require you to sign into their Google account. So before you do a factory reset, it's a good idea to go to settings, go to passwords and accounts, and just see if 
you are. In fact, it doesn't look like I'm signed into any here, but this is where they'd show up if you're signed into any accounts and you want to make sure you remove those accounts from the device. So once we've backed up Trimble data folder, removed any accounts from the device, you should be good to go and do a factory reset. So to do that, you'd once again go to settings and in the search bar, you can type in reset and go to reset options, reset options, and you'll see there's different resets you can do. So in this case, you're gonna erase all data, factory reset. This is what will be erased from your phone's internal storage or your TSC5's internal storage in this case. And you'll just have to authorize that, click erase all data. So once you click erase all data, I'm not gonna do it on this collector because there's no need to, but um, it will basically in effect wipe the device clean of all the things you see on the screen, including uh, any anything Trimble related. It will restart the device just like it would uh, out of a box or out of box experience wise. On startup, it'll prompt you to connect to an internet connection. So connect to your local Wi-Fi network. Um, you want to ensure the time and date are correct. A good habit to get into. If not, that can cause some issues. But then eventually, it'll restart to a home screen similar to this. So the first thing you're going to want to do upon doing a factory reset is check for Android updates because there may be security patches that it needs to update. It may be one, two, three, maybe four behind depending on how, how long it's been since you've updated the Android operating system. So you want to go back to settings and go back to system updates where we were at the beginning of this tech tip. Go to system update, manually check for updates, check a couple times and it, it potentially may need to download a few of these updates and restart the collector a few times to make sure you're up to date with Android. You'll know you're up to date when you check for an update and it says your system's up to date. And uh, as of February 5th, the most recent security update is December 5th of 2024. After ensuring Android is completely up to date, you'll want to reinstall Trimble Access. You'll use the Trimble Installation Manager for that. You can open that up. It'll first make sure the Trimble Installation Manager utility is up to date itself. Um, you will need an internet connection for this. You'll choose Trimble Access from the menu. It'll take your serial number, it'll compare it to what's available in the Trimble system and see what you're authorized to download. You want to go up to the drop down and ensure it says latest release. As long as your software maintenance is up to date and current, you should be available for the very newest. As of today, it's 2024.11. Um, make sure the English language is checked and anything else you want installed and click install. This will normally take five to 10 minutes to install. Um, and once it's installed, um, you should be able to hit finish here in the Trimble Installation Manager. The last thing to do is to restore your Trimble data, your projects and your settings to the device. So that's, once again, that's easiest to do via um, a USB-C cable connected to, the, to your laptop or PC. You'll just have to initiate for file transfer once again. And then on your laptop or PC, you can access the TSC5 and we can go into Trimble Data since it reinstalled Trimble Access. But this isn't your orig original Trimble Data folder that we backed up. This is just a brand new one with no projects and no unique settings. So what you're going to want to do is delete this Trimble Data folder off of the TSC5. Make sure you're looking at the one on the TSC5. So you can select that and delete it. And then you'd want to navigate to where you stored your Trimble Data folder earlier the one that has all your projects and settings, and you'd want to paste it in this exact same spot on the TSC5. Once you do, Trimble Access should be fully functional. It should have all of your projects and settings, and you should be all up to date on both the Android operating system and Trimble Access side. All right, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope this helps um, doing Android operating system updates, or if you have to go to the necessary step of doing a factory reset, just some quick tips on best practices there. Once again, this is Jesse Phillips. I'm with Waypoint Technology Group. Um, please feel free to reach out to our help portal at waypointtech.freshdesk.com. You can email us at techsupport at waypointtech.com. Check out our YouTube channel, or feel free to call for support at the number above. Um, thanks a lot for listening, and have a great day.